I do feel responsible for always keeping the information based in science and as pure as possible. I feel it's really important to do the research that we're doing. I mean, we've, we've studied so much uh, from a scientific standpoint, the process of change and the process of transformation and what meditation actually can do for a person in terms of their biology and, and some of the changes that we're seeing just in seven days. Um, my responsibility really is to give people my greatest understanding of the truth and numerous opportunities to experience it, nothing more. You know, there is a way to inspire people into possibility. And so they, we combine different models of science, whether it's quantum physics or neuroscience or neuroendocrinology or psychoneuroimmunology, the mind-body connection, epigenetics, electromagnetism, all of these sciences allow people to understand themselves better. And if knowledge is power, if knowledge about yourself is self-empowerment, you can empower people to do something with it. So the more you understand what you're doing in the process of change, the more you understand why you're doing it. As I said, the how gets easier. So we now know that if you give people sound scientific information, and that is the contemporary language of mysticism, and they can learn that information, they're basically making new circuits in their brain. That's what learning is. Learning is forging new synaptic connections. But if you don't review what you learn, if you don't repeat it, it's so much easier to forget it than to remember it. So you got to repeat it over and over again. So we allow people in our workshops to then begin to turn uh, and teach it back to somebody. They have to really explain it. If they can't explain it, it's not wired in their brain. And they're going to, something's going to be left to conjecture, to superstition, to dogma, to spirituality. And, and that's, not, that's not the result we want. We want them to use science as that model. And if they can explain that model, and remind themselves what they've learned, reproduce the same level of mind, nerve cells that fire together, wire together. So they begin to install the neurological hardware in their brain. By teaching others. Yeah, exactly. So that they are prepared for an experience. So then, if that information is installed in their brain, that philosophy, that theory, uh, that knowledge and information, and now they can remember it and they have that model of understanding, and they understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. If we can set up the conditions in the environment and give them the proper instruction, if they can get their behaviors to match their intentions, if they can get their actions equal to their thoughts, if they can get their mind and body working together, they're going to have a new experience. Now, experience enriches circuitry in the brain. That's what experience does. The moment those neurons begin to string into place, though, another part of the brain makes a chemical, and that chemical is called a feeling or an emotion. And the moment you feel unlimited, the moment you feel grateful, the mo moment you feel empowered, the moment you feel whole, now you're teaching your body chemically to understand what your mind has intellectually understood. The information is just not in the brain now. The information now is literally in the body. And now you're embodying the truth of that knowledge, of that philosophy, of that theory. So then you're teaching your body and instructing your body chemically to understand what your mind is intellectually understood. Okay, so then that information that's coming as a new experience is changing your biology in some way, and we've actually shown this. So then if you've done it once, then it means you should be able to do it again. And the idea is to be able to repeat an experience. And if you can repeat it over and over again, both neurologically and chemically, Neurochemically, you can condition your mind and body to begin to work as one. And when you can do it so many times that your body now knows how to do it better than your conscious mind, it's innate in you. 